Get up, DC. You know that sound. It's time for another news. We take a look at the news stories that may not be on your radar, but they absolutely should be. We're going to start with the home team, the Washington Wizards, where guard Bradley Beal suffered a slight of historic proportions as he became the first player in NBA history to average at least 30 points and six assists and be excluded from an all-NBA selection. The Wizards get no respect like Rodney Dangerfield. He doesn't even get the respect he deserves right here. Jan Mahimi made almost as much money as Beal did this season to foul people and get hurt. Now, if the Wizards were to trade him, he'd end up becoming a Hall of Famer. We know this. We've seen this movie before in DC. In other news, a man in England was spotted on a public bus using a live snake wrapped around his head as a COVID face mask. Somebody tell Jake the snake to stop it. This makes me feel bad for the snake. It did not ask to be used as your prop. Now, if the snake had acted like a snake and tightened its grip on that dude's head and neck, it would be the bad guy, cold-blooded. Next up, according to reports, an 89-year-old Ocean Township, New Jersey woman suffering from Alzheimer's disease almost lost her home of 50 years because she owed a grand total of six cents in back taxes. Six. Pocket change. Imagine losing your house because you decided to get something off the dollar menu. This is the greediest thing that I've ever seen and I work for the news here in DC. Thankfully, the homeowner's daughter paid the back taxes and fees to save the house before airing out the petty tax officials who tried to take the house over literal pennies on the dollar. And finally, former NBA champion and current actor Rick Fox began trending on Twitter after tweeting my friend Kanye West wants you all to know that he was kicked off of Twitter for 12 hours. Kanye couldn't find a current player to spread the word. Paul George has all the free time in the world right now. This is the rich people version of telling folks your phone is cut off till Friday when you can pay the bill. You know what? I'm still in Facebook jail, so I really can't judge. Hashtag free Reese Waters. Let me know what you think of these stories using the hashtag GetUpDC. Just don't hit me on Facebook because, yeah, I can't see it.